Hey guys, what's up? I'm here to give you guys a recap on a new episode or chapter of Ruby Volume 7, which is on episode or chapter 7. This this episode or chapter right here was very dev was possibly very tense and kind of pressuring for our characters because of what's going on here, especially after what happened in last episode or last chapter of Ruby Volume 7. It was Pretty difficult to say, but all I know is the situation they're in right now, not so great. Let's just get this started. We have to it that um, after playing the footage here and there of what Arthur Watts has been doing, you know, along with like um, some other things happening, Robin just literally become a full out vigilante stealing goods or resources of the trucks that's being delivered to, a, to that Amity Tower, you know. But apparently because of what's been going on here and there, it's just getting more difficult by the minute. Because without these resources or supplies, they will not be able to complete the Amity, Amity Tower communications, communications. But what's worse is that even though if everyone tries to tell the truth about Penny that she's innocent... It's gonna be too. It's gonna be hard to try to get the people back to understand. But I guess, yeah. All I know is Ironwood and everyone else right now who's at the meeting with him, which is Crow, Ruby, Nora, Ren, and like um, Winter. They are talking about the situation, how to deal with it, especially with Robin right now. However, Winter suggests they do a martial law, which is something that's really ugly because I think whatever law they plan to put down, it's gonna be. Possibly more devastating. Nora, on the other hand, disagrees with this and tells Ironwood about the situation and why they're doing this to Ironwood. They're framing Ironwood because of what he's doing right now, and he's already devastating Mantle. And it's the truth. We've seen it. We've seen it many episodes or chapters already in, Ru in Volume Seven right now, and it's already starting to make sense to see Arthur Watts and Tyrion take advantage of that and make the people hate Ironwood to a point of framing him. You know. It's like the same thing all over in Roop and Volume 3, if you guys remember correctly. That's if you ever, like, um, look back on it. But right now, like, um, Ruby thinks that we should, like, announce about Tyrion, but, they, but the A Squap's captain goes like, We do that, and not knowing where he is, everyone's gonna freak out, more Grim attacks, everything will be destroyed, and everything what we've been trying to work for, it's gonna be devast- It's gonna be blasted, blasted, blasted to the pits of the underworld. However, Noah suggests they tell everything to everyone, but Ironwood's like, No, we do that right now. Everything we work for will be for naught. Our enemy will find out. More Grim attacks will happen. And, yeah, everything will be for naught. Because the enemy will take advantage of that and destroy the, that communications tower whatsoever. And we have to it that Ironwood, on the other hand, wants to capture like um, Robin because of what she's doing, you know? And we have to it that there was a scene with like um, Ruby... Ruby and Wise talking about Penny with like um Penny's father or her or her creator along with Maria. We get to know that Penny was known to be was actually having aura or some powers coming from her creator. He was actually giving her giving her his aura so she could use it to maybe help her out in combat. Whatever which one that seems fitting because Ironwood remembers like how he wanted how he wanted something to be more of a guardian to the city, and his partners, which is Penny's creator or a father, whichever one that seems fitting for you, was the one to actually create that thing, but with a lot of help. Of course, that scene is for another time. I mean, like, uh, I'm sorry I can't give out a lot of details. That could be very satisfying, but I'm doing the best I can. Okay, when it comes to Yang and Blake, they kind of do not like the idea of having to hunt down a huntress who's trying to help out the people, which is understandable. I mean, yeah. Oh yeah, speaking of which, you know how Robin's been stealing these supplies or resources is that somehow her hunt, hunt, uh, uh, her her team is very crazy. Like, for example, they somehow could get to a truck and block off an area because of the semblance. One is able to like shrink, shrink a truck into like some kind of small size whatsoever, whichever the case may be. But, of course, yeah, going back to Weiss... Well, I mean, Blake and Yang, they do not like the idea of like, capturing Robin, but they decide to tell her the truth about it. After Robin took the bait and they end up having to like um, clash against her for a bit, 
they told her a little bit of everything what's to come, and Robin decides to go like, "Give me your hand then. Tell me if, if you if you if you want me to trust you, you gotta give me your hand." Blake decides to give her a hand, and by that time, Blake tells her everything, and she's actually telling the truth. Pretty funny, right? But pretty cool as well. But aside from that, we also see to it that this is where it gets difficult from here on now. Because Robin says she's still not going to stop until she knows everything, you know? And then the last segment of the chapter or episode involves Oscar talking to Ironwood about this, about the staff of creation or creation staff. You know, one of the relics of Remnant, you know? And that the creation staff is the very reason why the island, or should I say, um, you know, is floating whatsoever. Forgive me, Atlas is floating. But we have to it that they're going to have to do it the old school way for the communications tower because they just made up that story, you know, with dust and gravity. But aside from that, Ironwood is really concerned knowing that they have to defeat Salem and he's never been so afraid of her. But Asuka gives him a couple words of wisdom, you know, like, it's okay to be afraid, just don't let that fear control you. Not to mention he also talks about, not to mention Asuka also talks about, like, um, let's see here, um... That I think you should talk to the people who are afraid of you or you are afraid of them and speak out, speak out, you know, give out your public speech. And the the last 5% of the chapter or episode of Ruby Volume 7 shows that Weiss's father or Win- Winter and Weiss's father invites them to dinner and have and has General Ironwood to try to like, um, what you may call it, defend his seat on the council, you know. And this is where Ironwood's trial begins. Will he be able to get people to understand or will, it, will they still turn against him? Guess we're about to find out. But freaking Winter and Weiss's father, I'm really, I really hope they find out that freaking, that freaking Jock Snee is working with Arthur on this. Because honestly, he needs to be put down. Well, I'm kind of cold for saying that, but hey man, he's doing it out of his own selfish desire and greed. Of course, Ironwood's no different, but he's doing it to try to help people and try to re- try to unite and not divide. But right now, what he's doing is dividing pretty badly. But we're gonna have to see what this where this goes. So until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm Alpha Zero. People have a good day. And I'll see you guys next time. All right, peace out. Bye bye. Toot toot.